Hello, it's Employee Million. Just taking a short breather from reviews to tell you why there hasn't been that much SpongeBob content recently, why I'm not as enthusiastic about the show as I was a few years ago, and what you can expect from me on the SpongeBob side of things in the coming months. I don't want to beat around the bush, I'll just get to the reason I'm not reviewing SpongeBob as much. It's that I'm having more fun reviewing other shows. I've been getting a thrill getting back into shows I used to watch, or all the ones that interested me. Watching them in order, learning about their histories, jotting down my thoughts on why I like them. Hoping that I can make videos out of that that can resonate with more people. And the shows I've watched this year have managed to surprise me in ways Spongebob is no longer able to. I still like Spongebob, I still watch the new episodes, but there isn't as much I can say about it right now. Partly because season 12 hasn't enticed me like 11, partly because of the controversy surrounding Camp Coral, and partly because I've been making efforts to become a more casual fan, and see it as a silly kids cartoon again rather than my primary hobby. But about that controversy, the Camp Coral spin-off that was meant to start this summer, but has been pushed back to next year because, wow, a CGI show requires a lot of planning, who would have guessed? There's been some debate over whether creator Steven Hillenberg knew about it before his death in 2018, and even if he did, if he wanted it, uh, I don't know. I'll let history be the judge of that. I'm still cautiously optimistic. What's been released has looked nice, but not totally promising, but if it's of the same writing quality as Sponge of the Run, then it looks fine enough. I mean, that movie has Keanu Reeves in it. Lately he's made good-ish animated movies, worth the price of three Mulan remake rentals. But I digress. I've come to peace with the show continuing without Steve, but I'm still not sure how long it should go. My gut says five more years tops. Realistically, I expect it to go until around 2050, but it'll have like six more Dark Ages before then. And I want Spongebob to be good and end while it's good. I don't want the Waller Cesarelli style to get as dry and played out as the Tippet style did. I've liked it, but it's due for a change sooner than later. Life's about change, and Spongebob's still the same show it was in 2017, and that's completely fine, but if it stays that way until 2025, it'll look more like a relic than it already is. That's my two cents on Spongebob right now, it's still decent, and I'm fine with it going on for a few more years, as long as it shakes things up for the final season. However, I haven't given much critical thought to season 12. I can say I liked this and that, but haven't watched it with a review mindset in a long time, since March of last year. Near the end of this year, I'm going to change that. I'll go back to SpongeBuddy Mania and review every Season 12 episode that's aired in English-speaking territories. They've all been released for streaming in Israel, but you never know with Nickelodeon. They might hold more of them hostage for years like they did with Pineapple RV. I know SpongeBuddy Mania is kind of a ghost town, many would say for good reason, but I don't see any reason why my four-year-old blog of sorts should go to waste. It's a friend of mine. And that's not all. Sponge Coms will come back in October, staying in standard order rather than airing order, because research on airing orders has run into some oddities. We'll come back on October 19th with commentaries on Your Shoes Untied and Squid's Day Off, and go weekly until around December 6th with Christmas Who. Season 2 is going to be a great time, I just know it. Of course, I'll make three more show reviews for the year to fill my quota, and a showdown here or there, and make countdown videos on the best and worst in December like I did last year, but I'm aiming to get into a Spongebob mood for the rest of the year, bring my channel back to its roots for a while, and see if I can find that right balance again. With that said, I sincerely hope all of you are safe and happy with your loved ones, and that whatever's going on with your life, you can make it through. I'll still be here making cartoon reviews if you need me. Goodbye for now.